I'm Dea Spiro and today I'm going to talk about the stopping distance. What is the stopping distance? The stopping distance is the total distance from where the driver spots the obstruction to when the car stops. We can divide the stopping distance in two parts, thinking distance and braking distance. Thinking distance is the distance during the driver's time reaction. The time reaction is the time taken where the driver first sport, uh, spots the obstruction, makes a decision and puts the foot on the brake. The factors that affect the thinking uh, distance are, for example, loud music on the car, mobile phone, tiredness of the driver and the speed of the vehicle. The braking distance is how further can the car go when the driver puts the foot on the brake. Uh, it is affected by uh, the road conditions, weather conditions. So, the stopping distance is the sum of the thinking distance and braking distance. Okay, here is an example of the calculating the car's uh, stopping distance. Here are the data of the uh, car. Uh, the velocity, the time taken, the frictional uh, coefficient, and we have to find the thinking distance, braking distance and the stopping distance. Here is the solution. Firstly, we find the thinking distance, that is velocity uh, multiply a time. Uh, then we find the braking distance, that is a velocity in power 2 divided by 2g and a uh, frictional coefficient, that is mu. And then we find the uh, stopping distance, that is the sum of the thinking distance and braking distance. Thank you for watching.